Hi, this is David Fine with Keys Mods. Welcome to the Wacky Worm segment. Today, we are going to be featuring the pink striped oak worm moth, uh, Anisota virginiensis pellucida. Pellucida is a very common South Florida Saturnid moth. Uh, they're dimorphic. Females are a little bit larger. They're between four and five centimeters. Males uh, about three centimeters. And males are diurnal. They fly during the day. Females fly at night. There's a similar species that flies in the same area, Anisota senatoria, the orange-tipped oakworm moth, uh, but it's a little bit different. It has a little bit more of an orange color. The pellucida has this really neat pink banding on the outside of the wings, and the males have this translucent uh, patch on the forewing. It's a pretty cool moth. The host plant down here in South Florida, they're oaks. They got laurel oaks, live oaks, uh, scrub oaks, larvae feed happily on the leaves of those trees, and Virginiensis lives out throughout the eastern United States, but in South Florida, the subspecies Pellucida uh, is specific to this area. Both sexes, male and female, neither of them have feeding mouth parts, so uh, they don't feed as adults. Uh, females don't do a lot of flying until they've uh, mated with, been mated with, and so clusters of yellow eggs are laid on the stems of oak trees. Uh, Caterpillars emerge from their egg, they're hatched from their egg, and they are gregarious throughout their entire life cycle. Caterpillars will get up to about two inches long, and they have these fleshy appendages up near the head. They kind of look like horns. Uh, it's kind of cool. And they are, they're green and brown with these bright pink stripes that run down the uh, lateral ends of the, uh, of the larva. Uh, they feed on the on the new and old growth of oak trees, and they're really not too picky, so they're pretty easy to raise in captivity as long as you keep, keep the food fresh. When they're ready to make their cocoon, they'll crawl down off the tree, and they'll find some leaf litter, they'll find some, uh, some leaves, maybe in the dirt, and they'll bury themselves and make kind of a cocoon there and pupate there. They have several broods throughout the year and can be quite a common moth in South Florida. And guys, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, subscribe to our channel. We're going to get you a lot more Wacky Worms videos. We're going to have, have a whole lot more species to cover. Um, give us a like, a thumbs up. And until next time, enjoy South Florida. Take care.